Whether it's morning, afternoon, or middle of the night, when Megan Hughes gets the call, she's ready to roll. <laughs> Hughes signed on as a volunteer with the Red Cross and its disaster action team. In the 18 months she's been on the team, Hughes has responded to more than 80 incidents, mostly fires, like this one at an apartment complex in South Bakersfield. When we get there, you know, sometimes uh, mom and dad, you know, you can you can see that they're really just trying to hold it together because they really don't know what to do. And then we show up and, and we say to them, hey, you know, it's okay, we're here to help you. We're going to make sure you have a place to stay. We're going to make sure you have resources for food and clothes. And usually by the time we're done, we can at least get a smile and a hug from them. And that's that's a great feeling. Hughes often responds to calls with fellow volunteer Cindy Hughie, who says Hughes' commitment to helping others is unmatched. I haven't seen that type of a dedication in a long, long time. I mean, super dedicated. She never, ever complains or shows any discord that she has to get up in the middle of the night to go out. She's like, I'll help. What do you want me to do? And all, really all of our volunteers are that way, but she's really just, special I mean, in that you know, way because she does have a full-time job. So sometimes she'll go without working. sleep to help people to or to go to HEPA, set up a shelter. Like this shelter in Tehachapi for victims of last year's mudslides. Hughes worked through the night to comfort and feed them. The first bus load was, you know, 30 people soaked, uh, muddy, sometimes no shoes on, who had been sitting in their cars or, you know, out in the weather because of the mudslides stuck all night. So uh, by the time the weekend was over, we had had over 200 people in two Red Cross shelters. When she isn't out on the call, you'll often find Hughes in the classroom where she's taken 86 courses with the Red Cross. So I've taken courses on uh, sheltering and mass care, uh, CPR class, uh, logistics class, disaster service technologies, uh, community preparedness. Gosh, I don't even know. Now my goal is I'll see what class she takes and then I'll go take the class. And it's kind of a, a race. One time I think it was within hours. She finished it and then I finished mine. <laughs> But there's no finish line in sight for Hughes and her work with the Red Cross, even if she has to spend a holiday away from her family. It's often uh, when it's most inconvenient for me is when it's most rewarding because, you know, because it means a family had, uh, you know, some type of disaster that happened to them on Easter. So as, as inconvenient as it might be for me, uh, it's much more rewarding to help a person when they're really in need.